Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this microprocessor tutorial series. So in this video, we will learn about a table that will show the various signals for timing diagram purpose. So I am writing here timing diagram table that means this table will help you to draw the timing diagram. So first of all, let us see various operations along this y-axis. These are the various operations and for these operations, we will find out which signal will be high or low for these operations. So first of all, in the right hand side, we can see this S1 and S0. These are the status flag or the status code of the Intel 8085 microprocessor. So here these signals are the status flag or status code for the 8085. So whichever be the code depending on that code the various operations will be performed. So these are something called as the control signals. So this S1 and S0 these are nothing but these are the status signals that are sent by the microprocessor to distinguish various types of operation that are performed by the microprocessor okay and next we have this is the read bar this is the active low signal active low means whenever the signal value is zero then it will be performing the read operation the microprocessor will be performing the read operation when the right bar signal is zero it is also an active low signal therefore the microprocessor will perform the write operation in the case of wr bar is equal to zero input output slash m bar m bar is the active low and input output is the active high signal so when this signal will be high then it will be the input output read or when the signal will be low then this will be the memory write operation okay or memory read operation okay that means the memory will be interfaced with the microprocessor next we have the INTA bar this is also an active low signal and this represents the interrupt acknowledgement what is the interrupt acknowledgement what is the meaning the meaning is that whenever some external device tries to access the address or the data bus of the microprocessor 8085 then INTA bar whenever this signal will go low that means interrupt is acknowledged by the microprocessor now the external device can connect the microprocessors address bus or data bus for the transfer operation okay so now let us see various operations and for them what will be the signal value so in the first case we have the OF OF stands for the opcode fetch operation opcode fetch means it is the read operation from the memory it takes four t states or four clock cycles so let us find out what will be the status signals for this case so what will be the status output from the microprocessor okay so when s1 and s0 is one and one it performs the opcode fetch operation you have to keep in mind these two signals when the status signals are one and one this will be performing the opcode fetch operation now whenever it has one and zero one and zero it will perform the write operation so for the read operation we have 0 and 1 in this way for the input output read also because it is the input output IOR means input output read here also it is the read operation therefore we will have 0 and 1 here you can see that for the second case and the fourth case we have the same status signal so how we will identify whether it is an input output read or memory read we will identify from this signal IO or IO slash or IO slash this one m bar so here in the case of memory read what will happen the input output slash memory bar because it is the memory read here so zero because see m bar m bar means it is a active low signal when we apply a low signal then it will perform the memory read operation and for the input output read operation it will be always high so let me write down here so input output read here it will be one and one input output write this one input output read this one okay in this way you have to see the various signal values so we have found out the s1 and s0 signal for opcode fetch memory read memory write input output read input output write also it will be similar to the memory write operation so it will be one and zero okay input output write the status signals will be one and zero so i and t a this is the interrupt acknowledgement for the interrupt acknowledgement also it will have the one and one value in the s0 and s1 pins 
and for the halt operation halt means it is the stop that is the stop the execution of some operation then for this halt operation we will have zero and zero that means whenever we have zero and zero the microprocessor operation will be stopped or the microprocessor will stop the operation and next we have the hold operation hold operation means suppose a microprocessor is executing an instruction and within that instruction suppose some other devices or some connected part of the microprocessor is suppose trying to access the data bus or address bus then first of all the microprocessor send this whole signal to the interrupting device so whole signal means it will let the uh, external input or interrupt wait for some time until the execution is complete okay so we have here for the whole signal we will be having don't care for the s1 and s0 it does not depend on the status signals similarly for the reset also we have don't care values i have written here for the input output or memory bar in the case of opcode fetch because it is a memory read opcode fetch means we are fetching some opcode or hex code from the memory so therefore we will have a zero whenever it is a memory read operation then it will be zero I input output or memory bar this one function will be zero when we have the memory write then also it will be zero when we have input output rate it will be high and high okay in the case of int also interrupt acknowledgement also it will be high because you can see it will have to show some signal that is the interrupt is acknowledgement whatever be the interrupt has been sent to the microprocessor it is acknowledging now so in this case also we have the value is one similarly for the interrupt acknowledgement this one is the active low signal therefore only for this case only it will be low that is for the interrupt acknowledgement purpose only this interrupt acknowledgement signal will go low in the case of drawing the timing diagram you will require this table okay you have to understand or you have to remember some points how the microprocessor is operating i will make separate videos for the effects operation for the memory read memory write input output read input output write so this inta signal at the last column this will be always one except the inta signal okay here all other values will be one except this value as it is active low signal so when it is zero it will perform the operation or the INTA use now let us see about the input output or memory bar signal with the remaining three states in the case of halt operation we have to stop the microprocessor operation so therefore this is represented by a high impedance state okay this is denoted by z for here also hold operation also this will be z for the read and write operation also because these are the hold hold and reset they are not executing or they are not reading the memory or not writing into the memory this will be in the high impedance state okay high impedance state means we cannot determine the data now let us see with the remaining parts uh, what about the read and the write cycles now in the case of read operation when it is the opcode fetch opcode fetch means it will be it will be fetching some opcode from the memory okay so therefore as it is active low signal it will be zero okay and write bar will be one because this these two are active low signal whenever there is a read operation then the read bar rd bar will be zero whenever there is a write operation rw r bar will be zero okay so memory read this is a read operation so this will be zero and read write operation will be one okay are you getting my point now when you have memory write memory write means it is the write operation therefore we have zero here at the wr bar and in the case of read rd bar it will be one because you can see whenever we have an active low signal the processor will perform the operation based on the zero signal zero or the low input signal okay so in the case of input output read so this is a read operation therefore it will be zero again we have input output write so write operation will be zero or this will be one and one in this way i have made it this table so in the case of inta interrupt acknowledgement what we have to do we have to keep both the signal high and high because there is no memory read or memory write operation here in the case of interrupt acknowledgement this one is the interrupt acknowledgement inta so here no memory read or no memory write therefore it is not having any active low signal or zero voltage at the this 
R D bar and W R bar signal inputs. Okay, this is all about the timing diagram helpful table. Okay, this table is most important for drawing the timing diagram. Okay, so here this x values represents the don't care condition. This operation does not depend on this inputs. Okay, here also we have this x bar, and here we can see these are the z means these are the high impedance state. Okay, so these are actually not defined. So these signals are not controlling the microprocessor operation okay so this much for today thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you